Oh, hello, all you beautiful legends. Welcome to another episode. This week, I tried to get in some battle styles, but it turns out that booster boxes are really hard to come by at the moment. A bunch of nerds are buying them out, apparently. But we're going to be opening up a Alakazam V box and this Crobat Shining Fates box. Maybe get some other cool shinies in here. Might get a mix of stuff in this. Could be interesting. And yes, back by popular demand. I hesitate to say popular. Back by demand. I'm going to be doing the... Getting the energies into the tin and drinking a shot of Sambuca. Let's get these open, shall we? I'm starting to think about looking into selling these big cards because I think they go for like five to ten bucks a piece and I don't really care for them, but people do collect them. What is that? Watch there be something good in there. Ooh, Vivid Voltage. These packs, there is a rainbow VMAX Pikachu that is worth a couple hundred, I think $400. So that'll be a hunt for these two packs at least. With this pack, we're probably wanting to look for one of these uh, legendary doggos. No idea what we can get in this. Main reason Main reason I bought this box specifically was for the Alakazam card. I like that. Isn't that cool? Did you know that um, for the first time since I think the year 2000, with a set called Sky Ridge, they are going to have Kadabra and Abra in the trading card game again? Alakazam has been in it in things like these, where he doesn't require any evolution. But, fun fact, Yuri Geller, the magician who bends spoons, uh, claimed that Kadabra, specifically, I don't know why, was some kind of impersonation of him. Um, he didn't like it, so he sued them. Uh, he's recently come out and said that it was dumb that he ever thought that, and he's going to let them put the character back in the game again. So. I predict within the next year we're going to have our first Kadabra card in a long time. Oh, that's a big coin. Nice. These go for a couple of dollars as well. Oh, what a cool shiny. I know a lot of people don't like pink shinies, but especially for Crobat, it works. I like it a lot. And look at that. That's a beautiful card. Let's leave these up. Wonderful. There's another big card. It's bent. Who cares? This is what we came for. Six more packs of Shining Fates to add to that. So we have 10 in total. Okay, so we've got seven Shining Fates packs. A Sword and Shield base set pack. Another Shining Fates pack that I missed the first time. A Sun and Moon pack and two Vivid Voltage packs. I may leave these for last. These are the ones I'm most excited about and kind of scared because of the condition of this one. Let's, let's do Sun and Moon first. I don't really know what to expect out of this pack. It's a white card. Oh, we save white cards for the end here around these parts. So let's try this one. Okay, we got green. So we can open that. Two, three, four to the front. And we got a fighting energy to start off with. I am further away from the tin this time, by the way. I'm not sure it's super obvious, but the way I had to set it up in here, I'm not super close. Lucky Egg, Rhyhorn, Roselia, Aeroseed, Krabby, oh, Zigzagoon, Huthoot, and the Sandaconda. Nothing crazy, but I 
I also wasn't expecting anything too crazy out of a green card. Or to the front, darkness energy. Ooh. Rusted shield. Eldegoss. Dartrix. Qfan. Spinarak. Snom. Horsey. Rowlet. Ooh, a shiny Galarian Mr. Mime. And a holographic decidue. That's kind of cool. And there he is. About as dumb looking as the original, but he's shiny, so. Ooh. You know what? Let's see if these are white cards or green cards. There's a white. Okay. So I'm going to keep this one up by Squirtle. So we know that one's last to open. And a green. We might as well open these. Two, three, four, and water energy. Oh. Sorry guys, no drinks yet. League staff. Charmeleon. Arakuda. C dot. Fan P. Fan P, not Pan P, which I thought was for my entire life. Quagsire and Barskuda. Another Shining Fates. One, two, three, four. To the front. Grass Energy. Still none in. Someone's going to be very disappointed. Cacnea. Horsey. Qfant. Tootle. Oh! A shiny Drizzile. I've got the shiny Sobel. So that's two out of three for that line. And just looks like a normal... Oh! Shiny Thievel on the end. The shiny... The rate of shiny pools in this pack is kind of crazy. In the last, or one of the last sets, Hidden Fates, that also had uh, this kind of second from the back could have a shiny pool, was I, out of all the packs I ever bought, I only ever got one shiny. So they've increased the. Come on! They've increased the rate of pools. Oh, that was kind of cool. <laughs> They've increased the rate of shinies in these. I, I think that's probably not a great thing because it means the value of them go down. Oh. But yeah, when I went to go, um, when I ordered this booster box, the guy said that it had been delayed because uh, they're so in demand by two weeks. So I went to a card shop and they had no booster boxes. And... Oh, cool! Ditto V. I remember I bought my buddy Lee, uh, I didn't, it was a group of us, bought him some of these packs to open for his birthday, and he got a Ditto, a shiny Ditto V Max, which is one of the, uh, and it certainly at the time, was one of the most valued cards in the game. I like Ditto. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, the card shop. Apparently they don't get many booster boxes in, they only get like one or two because they're so in demand that they're not allowed to overstock anywhere. Logan Paul has ruined the Pokemon card industry. Packs are worth a fortune and hard to find and individual cards ain't worth what they used to be. God, I am bad. Sorry guys, I know you're expecting some drinks. More Pico, Chutel, Nicket, fuck Logan Paul, Grookey, Yanma, a Reverse Hollow Rotom, and oh, 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 cool. I like a full art trainer card. Look at that. Oh, look at that belly. Sexy bastard rose. Nice one. Two more of these packs to go, and then we get into
the others. I may... Since that's my first one, I'll take a decent sized swig for this first one. I don't want my brother yelling at me again. Oh. Oh. I already did this, didn't I? I swear I'm not drunk. Floatzel, Tropius, Rowlet, Trapinch. Snom, Crookie, Spinarak. Oh, that's another evolution one that I've got. I've got the shiny Wooloo. Shout out to all you football fans. I hear you like sports. Um, Dubwool is even more based off the football, I think. So double shout out to football fans. Nice, nice. All right, I'm kind of breaking my rules here the ones that I just established minutes ago. But I'm gonna go for the, was this the Sun and Moon pack? Yes. Oh. You can tell because of the energies. Oh no! Oh, oh. oh, I love Sambuca. I don't think I would so readily do that with uh, several shots on a Tuesday evening with any other kind of booze. Sigh. Bound sweet. Have I gotten one of these sets before? This is, I've not seen this art, I don't think. Certainly not this one. That's really cute. Oh, I've got that one though. Reverse hole crocodile, crocker, crocker, rocker, rocker, rocker. And, oh, a Lurantis GX. It's been a while since I've seen a GX. It's kind of weird seeing them. I'm actually starting to get a little bit concerned. I have to actually leave this country in five months. And I have a lot of cards <laughs> to take back with me. And I don't know how easy it's going to be. to fit my entire collection back with me. So I may have to get rid of some cards. I'll obviously keep all my GXs and stuff. Hey, pew, 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 pew. Oh. <coughs> it's good for you. Gym trainer, Floatzel, Team L Towel, Yanma, more Pico, Eevee, Gossifleur, more Pico, a reverse hole of Thievil, and holy fucking shit. Right, I'm sorry to whoever's watching this, but. Yeah. I have so many of this card. And he's not worth anything. And I don't care. He's literally, I think this uh, this same art is in three different sets. And I've gotten a shiny from all of them. So, um, uh, um, Nice one. All right, guys, this is the Vivid Voltage one. This is one I'm really quite excited about, actually. Let's see if we can pull a Pikachu. This, actually, that's a Ditto, but. <coughs> Cramorant, Kakuna, Surchester Bath, Ferroseed, Riolu, Sandile. Uh. Oh, me. Oh, that tasted a Sambuca. <sighs> Wilmer, Weedle, Wilmer. 
Somebody get me a drum roll. Oh, it's not, but it's something. Ooh. A full art colossal. Look at the background of that. That's that's pretty cool. Nice one. That's not a bad haul. Didn't get my shiny Pikachu. Uh, but I only had two packs, so I wasn't holding out much hope for that. Oh look, we missed a pack. So we have one more to go. Shiny Charizard? Anybody? No? <coughs> Floatzel. Luxio. Rusted Sword. Spinarak. Buizel. Rowlet. Trap Inch. Snom. A Bulba. Woo! I think this is actually worth a little bit. Shiny Suicune. And another holographic to sit Fuck, I am glad we found that. Suicune Shiny. Okay, updated pool list. Shiny Suicune. Colossal V. Rillaboom. Lorantis GX. Double Shiny. Rose Foot Art Trainer. Ditto V. Drizzile Shiny. Decidueye Holographic. Oh. I guess two Decidueye Holographics. A shiny Mr. Mime, and then the two Crobat Vs and an Alkazam Pro. That's a pretty good haul. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, tell me which set you want me to do next. More Shining Fates possibly. I have some battle styles on the way uh, because I want to get some of those alternative arts that I'm probably going to show on the screen. Maybe some Champion's Path. I already got the Charizard, the shiny Charizard from that, but that would be a really cool one to do again. All right, you fucking cunts. Thanks for fucking watching this shitty video. I'm fucking Ditto Pikachu. I'm a derpy prick. How about you do us a favor and drop a fucking comment and get your friends to watch this fucking video because I only got about 20 to 30 fucking views on my last video. And I'm spending a lot of fucking money. So I want more views. This is on you. But for real guys, I really appreciate you watching. Please share this video if there's anybody that you think is into this kind of thing. I'll have more pack openings in the weeks to come. And yeah, we'll see you next week probably.